snowshoes. These have got me all around the, the five acres here. Down to the barn, taking the limbs off. It's, it's wetter today, so it's sinking down in. The, the last few days, boy, I just walk right across it like it's a floor. Kind of funny, though. <laughs> but you don't see anything like this in Florida. Okay, Brooke, you can turn it off. <laughs> Bye. Okay, here. Let me have the camera. Okay, now. This is... 12 days after the storm now. Hey Solo. You doing better now, baby? He just walked right across the snow. But the snow was so high it went up over there in the fence that when I saw Solo could walk on top of the snow, he could walk right through the fence. So I had to make a trench that he couldn't get to it. This is the fence I put up. Let's see, it was only, what, two, three months ago and I was out here in shorts and no shirt putting this fence up. And there's our polonia, two polonia trees. Huge, beautiful. And you can see the snow just completely squished all the evergreen. And uh, so, This is the path dug out. But the snow has really come down. You know what, I should end it with the picture showing you the house before and after. But this is the trail I had to dig out. This is actually the circle driveway. But without a plow, this is about as good as it's gonna get. And this took hours to dig out. I'd say it's gone down about half of what it was. It's melted down. But there's the other part of the driveway going around. You can see everything's just covered. And out to the road. There's my van all dug out. But this is almost two weeks later after the storm. Well, the original storm. I still have to finish digging out more. And there's the hill that goes down there, but he was getting stuck on. Now I'll walk back towards the house. Okay, now, what I'll do is here's this shot. Now I'm gonna fade it away through the power of multimedia computer and fade it to the picture of the day we woke up from the storm. Alright. 